Hey guys, what is up? Megan here and welcome back for another full moon ritual guide. Today we're going to talk all about the upcoming full moon in the earth sign of Capricorn. Please like, subscribe if you like these ritual guides and let's get to work. This upcoming full moon is going to be in the sign of Capricorn and it's going to be Wednesday, July 16th at 2.38 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The full moon will be at its peak that Wednesday at 2.38. That day is going to really be the culmination of energy. That's what full moons are, culminations and then releases, right? We're building, 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 starting at the new moon, and then we're peaking at the full moon, and then we are releasing until the new moon, and then we are bringing in again in that cycle. That is why we align with the moon. When we harmonize our habits to the Earth's energy, we're amplifying the energy that's already existing. It's much better to work with the moon than it is to try to fight it, like try to do things that are really high energy on the new moon or vice versa on the full moon, doing things that make you feel stagnant or not moving your energy. This full moon is referred to as the strawberry full moon because in Native American tradition, this is the time of the year where strawberries are ready to be harvested. Capricorn is symbolized by the sea goat and its glyph looks like this. Capricorn is also a cardinal sign which which, like Libra and Aries, tend to be more of the go-getters, the doers, the starters. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, which is the planet of responsibility, rules, hard work. I associate like a stern energy with Saturn, the stern, disciplined, almost the militant father, if you will. Capricorn rules the 10th house of ambition, your career, your political aspirations, kind of how you outwardly present yourself. So this full moon, check to see what you have in your 10th house and see if you're aligning with the higher or lower vibration of that sign. Some colors you can incorporate are browns, grays, greens, kind of earthy, darker hues. And as far as glamour magic goes, for this Capricorn full moon, dress as the most powerful version of yourself. Now, whatever power means to you, and it could be a boss, you know, corporate CEO vibe, it could be a seductress, powerful, feminine vibe, dress up as the most powerful version of yourself, whatever that means to you. Capricorn is an earth sign and is very grounded and stable. As it is ruled by Saturn, it has that disciplined responsibility energy. Capricorns can be very hardworking to almost to the point of being workaholics and neglecting that family. Full moons illuminate everything and invite you to look at the shadows or the shadow side of the self. These shadows are often born out of fear or judgment in your childhood. So for example, if someone always called you lazy when you were five years old because you didn't clean your room, maybe you don't view yourself as a hard worker anymore. So this full moon, look to see where you have shadows around judgment and workaholism. So I've noticed on the low side, Capricorn can be very preoccupied with either judging, being very judgmental of others, or on the opposite side of the spectrum, thinking that other people are hyper judging them and judging their every little move. Out of balance, Capricorn is also a workaholic. This full moon, check in on your work-life balance. Do you need more of that Capricorn work hard energy? Or do you need to calm it down and spend more time caring for yourself and caring for your own family and your own home first? Only you truly know which of those energies you need. Be honest with yourself because full moons invite us to become more balanced. Some crystals you can incorporate are tiger's eye, malachite, smoky quartz, garnet, and black tourmaline. And for ritual ideas for this full moon, I like to do these things over the course of a few days before and a few days after the full moon. There just aren't enough hours in the day to do it all directly on the day of the full moon. So if you need to branch out a few days on either side, it's totally fine. One really great idea for this Capricorn full moon is to think of one area in your life that you need to take more seriously or you need more discipline and give it a revamp. And I bet there's an area of your life that pops into your head, you know, whether it be your finances, your health, whatever that area is, commit to improving it. Can you maybe join a gym or start a savings account? Can you sign up for dental insurance? And that brings us to our next tip, which is to do something that normally would feel intimidating or that 
you just wouldn't want to do. So use that Capricorn full moon intense energy to do something that you really have been putting off. Like for example, transferring over an old 401k. Another ritual idea is to list five affirmations around your work-life balance and your life's purpose. Those are going to be real themes this full moon. It's okay if you haven't found your life's purpose yet. You know, do we even have a purpose? That's a question for another day. Use this full moon to at least get a little step closer to finding your life's purpose. So our next exercise is we're going to be doing a banishing ritual, but we're going to release judgment from others. I've recommended this other full moons, but basically you're going to take a piece of paper and write other people's judgments of you that you no longer align with or you never aligned. For example, have your parents wanted you to be a doctor when you really wanted to be an artist? Or do you have a bad reputation that you just want to release? This month, we're going to release anything that comes up around judgment, other people's judgments, your fears. Just write them down on a sheet of paper, everything you want to release. And then we're going to do a burning ritual, preferably under the full moon at night and obviously follow all kinds of fire safety practices. And if you don't have a safe place for this ritual, just rip the paper, that's fine too. If you can, go outside and burn it and release all that judgment. Get it out of here. You don't need it. We do not want to give a crap about what anyone thinks of us Period. Another great ritual this Capricorn full moon is to read a nonfiction book around an area that aligns with like the highest version of you. Is the highest version of yourself a chess master? Then read a book on chess. Find a nonfiction book that allows you to learn and slowly become that aspirational version of yourself, how you want to appear to others. Especially now, since it's summer in the Northern Hemisphere and it's like nice out, it is the perfect time to grab a book and sit outside. Especially, ooh, this would be such a good thing to do Wednesday of the full moon. Capricorn rules the knees and bones. For this month, as far as activity goes, I recommend doing weightlifting. And I'll link Fitness Blender, which is like my favorite weightlifting YouTube YouTube channel. It's great for bone density, so that's what I recommend doing for this full moon. I like to recommend a movie that you can watch that just kind of has the energy of the full moon. So this month I recommend watching Devil's Advocate with Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves, who plays a young lawyer who is offered a job by a big New York firm, but everything isn't as it seems and there's tons of paranormal occurrences. The high-powered law firm work hard New York attorney energy is so Capricorn. Work, work, work. Have a lot of physical material possessions, but be still somehow be deeply unhappy. That is that negative Capricorn energy that we want to release this month. So I think this is a great movie. I mean, who doesn't love Keanu Reeves in a good old occult moment? Let me know in the comments below if you end up watching this movie. I'm pretty sure it's on Amazon Prime right now. Some journaling questions for the full moon are, what does work-life balance look like for you? What are the signs of imbalance? What practices help you understand yourself? Have you found your life's work? What activities make you feel alive? What do you need to release to find your life's purpose? What have you forgotten about yourself and how can you remember it? What do you need to heal to find yourself again? What things have you committed to out of fear of judgment? And some tarot questions are, what makes you feel held and supported? What practices can you commit to on this full moon that allow your emotions to be felt? And what practices honor and develop your intuition? As this full moon is also in the sun sign of Cancer, this can be a very emotional and intense full moon. So like always, give yourself grace working on these shadows and releasing these lower vibrations. It can be emotionally exhausting, honestly. So give yourself grace. Try not to be too Capricorn stubborn. Let yourself live your best life this full moon. I hope you enjoyed this full moon ritual guide in the sign of Capricorn. Let me know in the comments below what you have going on in Capricorn or what house Saturn is. I would love to know. I will see you in my next video, which will be the upcoming new moon in the sun sign of Leo. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Oh yeah, please like subscribe. Bye.